Here we'll be servicing a Bosch fuel injector. So um, to start with, you'll need a few things. First you'll need to uh, figure out what injector you've got so you can order up the right seal kit. So we've, we've got that here, that'll fit it. Uh, next we need a few things, so we need a pair of pliers, a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, a can of carby cleaner, uh, a self tap with screw, uh, a rag, and some cotton buds. So to start with, we want to take the uh, front panel off and the o-ring. So to do that, we just leave her around it. And that takes the panel cap off and the o-ring. So it's so it's quite dirty there. So our, our aim of this is to clean all in there. With that gummed up like that, you'll use heaps of fuel and uh, the injectors won't run right. So if you've got an ultrasonic bath, that's the best way to clean that tip up. So if you don't have an ultrasonic bath, you can get yourself a bit of carby cleaner and a rag. So we'll spray that on the rag. We'll just give the tip a really good clean with that. So try not to get it on the plastic or you'll melt the injector. So from there, look all the dirt we've cleaned off there. So the main thing is to clean the little holes in the panel end. So we'll get the cotton bud, we'll spray a bit of carby cleaner on that. And from here, just clean that panel out. See all that dirt that's come out of there? Now we'll just clean that up. Right, nice and clean. Now from here we'll take the other o-ring off the end. That's to remove the panel cap and the two o-rings. So the, the last thing to do is to remove the filter basket out of the end. That's where the self-tapper screw comes in. So what we'll do is we'll screw that into the end, nice and tight like that. And with your pliers, should be able to wiggle that out. And once that's removed, now the injector is ready for to, to install the components back onto it. So to start with, we'll put the filter back in. So just get your filter there, lay that flat. So to put the filter in, we'll need a hammer. And we just lightly tap that back in flat. And now you've reinstalled the filter. Just make sure it's flat. Once that's installed, we can then push the airing on. So there's the, the top half of it reinstalled. Now from here, what we can do is we'll put the o-ring on and we'll install the new panel cap. And just hear it click so it doesn't fall off. Now these panel caps, there's no top or bottom, so anyway, we'll install on correctly. And, and that's your injector service. So you just need to now do that for the next five or seven, depending on if it's six cylinder or a V8 or, or a four cylinder. And there you go.